Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. So hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video on the XY chain. And I thought before I move on to today's technique that we're going to discuss, I have created another practice bonus puzzle for you, you can call it, on the XY chain. So this is the puzzle which you can try it out to practice on the XY chain that we learned yesterday. The link to this puzzle, which can be solved online, is given in the description of the video. And it has uh, XY chain bonus in the URL. So click on it, try it out, see if you're able to locate the chain. And in the comment section, let me know which digit you eliminated using this XY chain technique and from which cell. So maybe you can, if at all, uh, say, <clears throat> you have eliminated the digit 5 from here. So you can simply mention that you 5 from R2 C5, which is row 2 column 5. I would love to see if you have grasped the concept completely. I look forward to reading those comments on that. And hopefully I'll try to uh, keep on adding such bonus puzzles for you to practice because I firmly believe I mean, just learning these techniques theoretically is of no use unless and until you are able to implement it in an actual Sudoku. So I'll try my best to provide you with practice material as well. And when tomorrow I come up with my new video, maybe I'll give the first couple of minutes to quickly run through this puzzle to show you where the XY chain was applicable. But that does not mean you cannot try it on your own. Do go ahead, try it out and let me know in the comments just the digit that was eliminated and from which cell. All right. So moving forward, today we are going to look at another advanced technique. And this one is known as an XY loop. Now, in this technique, what happens is we have a combination of two digits just like the XY chain except that it's not a straight chain but it forms a rectangular shape. So for example if this was an AB, this is BC, this is CD and this is AD. All right. When we have this kind of a formation what would happen is if this is an A, the B would be in row 2, column 4, which pushes the C to column 6, and the D would be pushed to row 8. Correct? But if this was a B, the A gets pushed to row 8, column 6, the D gets pushed to row 2, column 6, and the C gets. So irrespective of which digit comes where, these four digits will form a rectangular shape. Now, how does that help us? What it means is, since the, both the options for the A, letter uh, digit A, are in row 8, right? So we can eliminate the digit A from the other cells in row 8. Similarly, the C is locked in row 2, column 4 and 6, which means from all the other cells in row 2, we can eliminate C. The Digit B is logged in column 4, which means from all the other cells in column 4, we can eliminate the digit B. And finally, the digit D is in, logged in column 6. Hence, all the blank cells in that specific column, which is column 6, can be eliminated. Alright, so let's go ahead and see a live Sudoku puzzle and how we can use this technique. Now this Sudoku that I created last night is on a very hard level because apart from this loop thing, it uses the XY chain that we learned yesterday. It uses the skyscraper of the chains technique to eliminate a digit and it also uses the XY wing. So I guess you can call it an XY puzzle because the XY wing, the XY chain, 
and the XY loop all are getting used to solve this Sudoku. So shall we begin? All right. Three can all be here. So that's a three. And next would be six. Six. All right. Six. And oh, four, four. So that's a four. And this becomes a five. So that's a seven because one and eight are already there. So we get a one eight here, which leaves us with three seven, four four. So that's a four and we have wrapped up all the fours. Okay, now what next? As I said, this is not a very straightforward puzzle. One, two, three, four, five and six are missing. So that's a six and that's a five. We were missing. Oh, why did I put a seven here? I'm so sorry. This would be a six, not a seven. My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. All right, six, six. So this would come a seven, and this would be a. Seven. All right. All right. Please ignore that initial typo. This would be a one and nine to complete the box which gives me an eight and a one. I have the last seven, not a five, so that's a two eight and a two eight. All right, now what next? Hmm. Nine, eight, seven can be there, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, but one is logged in column one in box four, right? So this will be a seven. And this is a one, two, and a one, eight. All right, five, five, five can be here, five is here. So I require two, seven, eight, so that's a two, seven. I got a two here, so that's a seven, eight, two, seven, eight. Okay, it looks like it's pencil marking time. Nine, nine is locked in this. Five is locked here. Seven is in this. I require. Okay, let's go ahead and fill all the pencil marks. So what can I have here? I can have a nine. Eight and seven, not possible. Six, five, four, three, not possible. One, two, six, nine. Okay. What can I have here? I can't have a one. I can have a two. Three, four, five is not possible. Six, seven is there. Eight and nine. And what can I have here? One, two, I can have a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. I can have a two, three, four, five, six, seven is gone. Eight, nine. Hmm, one, two is possible, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. And what can I have here? One is possible, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here I can have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is one, eight, nine, okay. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight, along with a nine. Two, five, seven, eight, and a nine. Wow. Two, five, seven, eight. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Anyway, the eight is locked here, right? This would be one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one, two, this is a three, five, and a nine. One, this will be a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a nine. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Okay. Wow, well, there's too many pencil marks coming up in two places, too many places. So I'll take a pause here because what we spoke about the XY loop, I think I've located that. I'll pause for a few seconds to see if you can find it out. Right? Well, if you were able to locate it, congratulations. 1, 2, 1, 8, 7, 8, 2, 7. You remember the four digits are forming pairs and four corners forming a rectangle. Now, if, say, this was a 1, right? This would become an 8, which forces a 7 here and a 2 there, correct? But, if this was a 2, this becomes a 7, this becomes an 8, and this becomes a 1. So, irrespective of where the digits are getting placed, I know for sure the 1 is locked in row 1, but then there's no place for me to eliminate, so I'll ignore that. The digit 2 is logged in column 2, hence I can eliminate the 2 from all the other cells in column 3. Similarly, the 7 is logged in row 9, so I can eliminate the 7 from there. And the 8 is logged in column 7, which helps me eliminate the 8s. So, if you got this, congratulations, but this was how the XY loop helped in eliminating a few digits. But what now? Now I see that since this 2 got eliminated, I have a pair of 3, 9 in row 3, correct? So I can safely eliminate 3, 9, right? Now, what next? We have used the XY loop to eliminate, but yet nothing has opened up for us. Now, tell me if you guys can locate the X, Y, V. Great. You see this? 1, 2, 1, 8, and a 2, 8. So if this was a 1, the 8 gets pushed to column 7 in row 1. But if this was a 2, the 8 gets pushed to column 2 in row 3. So whichever number comes in, row 1, column 3, the 8 will always be either in row 1, column 7 or row 3, column 2, which means the buddy cells for these are these two, right? We can safely eliminate the 8. And now that we have eliminated the 8, I see that this has formed a triplet on 2, 5 and 7. Hence, I can eliminate the 2 from there. Which eliminates the 8. Now 8 can only be here or here. And since this was a triplet on 2, 5, 7, I can again go ahead and eliminate the 2 from there as well. Correct? But okay, we just placed one digit. That's not huge progress, but definitely some progress. Now let's go ahead and use another H. Let's see what the other possibilities here. I can't have a 9, 8. That's a 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the possibilities there are 1 and 7. Now, again, I have an XY wing with the pivot at row 9, column 7. So if this is a 7, this would be a 1. If this is an 8, the 1 would be placed here. So irrespective of which digit comes here, 1 will either be here or here, which means it cannot be in row 7, column 7. Now that the 1 has been eliminated, I see that the column 7, the digit 1 can only be in these two cells, right? Hence, I can eliminate this again. Good. 
I mean, we are using so many techniques and yet we are only eliminating the digits and not getting anything. But don't worry, we'll slowly reach there. Now let's see this cell, let's put in the pencil marks. I can have a one, I can have a two, or I can't have a one, but definitely a two. Three I cannot because three for box six is logged in column eight, right? Four not possible, five is a yes, sorry. Five is a yes, six, seven, eight are not there, and a nine. Now comes my chain technique. Let's focus on this cell. If this is a seven, obviously the seven cannot be in these two, right? Correct? But if this were a five, the five of box nine is in row eight. So my five would be placed here which would push the 2 to row 9, column 9 and eliminate the 2 from here and this would become a 2. Correct? So if the first cell here was a 7, it would automatically eliminate the 7 from or rather the options, possibilities for row 3, column 8 would be 2 and 5. But if row 3, column 7 is a 5, then we have a single digit 2 which will be there at row 3, column 8. So irrespective of which comes here, I know for sure the 7 will never be placed here. Correct? That was the chains technique that we used. But still again, we have just eliminated the digit, not put in anything. Now I'll pause here again. Please tell me if you can identify the X, Y chain. Congratulations. If you got it, because then you will have learned something from yesterday's video. So my chain is 2, 5, 5, 7, 7, 8, and 2, 8. As I said, the XY chain doesn't need to form a rectangle. It's only the XY loop that forms a rectangle. So if this is a 2, this becomes a 5. This becomes an 8. This becomes a 2. <coughs> Sorry, this is a 2. This is a 5. Correct? Now let's look for the buddy cells here. The 2 is at the edge, right? So when we have an XY chain, the digit that occurs at the end of the chain will be eliminated from all the buddy cells, which means here. Here obviously I can't have a 2, but here I can safely go ahead and eliminate the 2. And now that the 2 has been eliminated, I see that this is a 5, 9, 3, 5, 9, and a 3, 9, which forms a triplet. So my 2 has to be here, which eliminates the 2 from there. And this was a 3, 9 with a 3, 9. That's a pair. So I can get rid of that and a 9 there. And this was a 3, 9, so I could eliminate the 9. So that's a 6. That's a 1, and that's a 2. And finally, we have started making some progress. And now, after having used so many of these techniques, finally, we are moving. Now that's a 5, 7, okay. 2, 8, this was a 7, 3, 9, 3, 9. So this would be 1, 6. But with a 6 here, that's a 1 and that's a 6. 1 has to be these two. This is 379. So 9, 9, that's a 9. 7 and 3. So that's my 7. Okay, 5, 7, 5, 7. Okay, we got a 9, so we can eliminate the 9. 3, 5, 9, 3, 7. Okay, this would be 1 and 8. So that's a 1, and that's an 8. 1, 1, that's a 1. So this has to be a 7. 5 and a 7, so that's my 3, 9, 3, 9, 3, and that would be a 5, followed by a 9, and finally the 5 and a 3. Phew. All right, system says it's correct. As I said, this puzzle was supposed to be very, very hard because we used two XY wings 
one regular chain, one XY chain, and then the XY loop as well. Hope you guys, well, I know <laughs> it's a bit tough, but hope you enjoyed it. I have put the link to this puzzle in the description as well. So you can try to solve it on your own. And don't forget to try the XY chain bonus puzzle that I've put in the description. And especially for the XY chain bonus, I look forward to hearing your in your comments. If you were able to find the chain, let me know which digit group was eliminated from which cell using the XY chain. And tomorrow we'll come up with another video on one of the one another advanced technique if you miss it. I know these techniques are more of good to know because very rarely you get to use them. But there's no harm in understanding them and knowing them, especially when you are stuck in a very hard pseudo. So till the next time, happy solving.